Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. I'm thinking that, like, if we were, like, as three-dimensional beings, like, if we wanted to interact, like, with two-dimensional beings, we would have to have some sort of, like, vehicle or construct in the two-dimension to go to. Because w- when we went there in these things, like, we couldn't just go in our body. Like, we, we would have to have some sort of, like, VR in the two dimension that we operate right and then when you're in the two dimension it would be weird for you because all of a sudden you wouldn't have this full range of motion like you would you know what i mean like you would be you'd be like so limited to what you would do that it would you couldn't naturally move because you'd be like this doesn't feel i feel awkward so part of me was thinking that maybe these are some sort of you know we talk about dimensional beings and stuff but maybe this is like some sort of three-dimensional vessel for these extra dimensional beings that they just operate while trying to get stuff from us. And that's when they just vanish like that, that's them being like, and pull them back to the fifth dimension for a second, right? Now we can't. It's them rage quitting. Right? We can't figure this yeah, out. We can't, it's too all frustrating. All of a sudden, we I'm can't done. perceive them at all. Boom. Like our perception, gone. They're just, they, our perception of them is disappeared. And then they're like, and we're back, right? And like nothing happened kind of thing. Surprise. So that's kind of where I was thinking. Over about. here. Yeah, so uh, beans that can control their vibrations. Yeah, maybe, or like, or th- just some sort of two dimen- three dimensional construct that they're using to visit. These, yeah, I almost this dimension. I like that as well because if you're that advanced, let's say, why not just project? Not, not you're projecting something down. It's not even you. Maybe like you're yeah. sending like a, maybe it's a hologram. And maybe that's like they're projecting down this hologram. Yeah, and may, either it malfunctions, disappears for a bit. They get it back online. and They come back. Classic. Or, you know, the old pull the plug, pull, plug it back in, or <laughs> with the boy. She brought the boy. Send him back. <laughs> what happened? Here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the disappearing stuff is quite odd. I mean, we never really got enough of a statement to really go on that, but yeah. it is it, it is weird, super weird case, really cool. Now there is some. I mean, if you're looking, if you're listening to our podcast, you like this podcast, you you like make connect connection. There's some case files that, you know, um, that popped into my head right away. That's case file 212, Cisco Grove UFO encounter. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we talked about uh, Charlie Red Star, which is case file 154. So if you want to go back and listen to those ones uh, and see if you make up any other connections in your head, uh, I would encourage you to do so if you haven't already. The Cisco Cisco Grove, the silver robotic alien. Dan, there was another one that kind of popped into your mind. What was... Pascagoula encounter. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Pascagoula. Pascagoula also had the uh, like notably tall entities that uh, robotic-looking entities that approached uh, two men who were out fishing. Yeah, and that's uh, uh, case file ninety-four. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's ninety-four. Yeah. So like we're, getting that one. we're getting old. We're getting old. <laughs> we're getting old. Getting up somewhere. there. Um, Way back. Yeah. But the, yeah. These these type of cases pop up now and again and they kind of share very similar accounts and descriptions of the craft ets etc so that's cool to check out well and and you know what maybe let's you know like dan said you know they were they testing testing the waters of what they could print so you know is this a, a case of uh you know the old uh, the first russia fake news uh, coming out of there right 89 um it's, it's the beginning of the uh, you know, tabloids, Russian tabloids. Yeah. This is the weekly world news. The Komuna was the uh, weekly Soviet news, I guess. Uh, news. Let us know what you think, right? Shoot us a message on our socials, uh, you know, wherever you follow us, and uh, let us know what you think. Is, Hell yeah. Did it happen? Listen to all the accounts. Hashtag look it up, and uh, we'll, we'll share some pictures and interviews and stuff. Uh, but let us know what you think. Yeah. Would aliens be good at soccer? Yeah, Could <laughs> coming back to the title of the first article. Could we be? There was no soccer play. If there, if there was, if there was, though. we had to stop them. Oh, could we do Space Jam with soccer? Yeah, no, no. I heard Leo. Here's, here's I, the reason who why. would star in Space Jam? With no, I guess it would. I heard. Space yeah, Jam. name name five soccer players. <laughs> Leo Messi. Yeah. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah. What's his last name? Neymar. Cristiano Neymar. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Okay. What's what's Neymar's first or last name? I don't know. Um, <laughs> They're soccer players. Beckham. By the last name. Yeah. Beckham. He doesn't play soccer anymore though. He's retired. Oh, uh, Francois. Aguilini. Michael Jordan was retired when he made Space Jam. <laughs> You're making up he, names now. Francois Aguilini, 
Derek Roy. I mean, there's, I'm sure those are hockey players. No, I'm is sure. He or is he still playing baseball? I'm sure those are soccer players. Anyways. It's funny, though, when you ask, like, Neymar is, like, he only goes by Neymar. My name is Neymar. He's like Cher. Neymar Jr. Is he Neymar Jr.? Is he Neymar? Huh. I don't know. Yeah, probably. I think so. I remember thinking i seen on the Neymar. Jr., um, let's, uh. Let's, re- let's go. Let's move on. I got to give a theorite of the week. You're all getting the same. We all are getting the same thing. Right now, I have two of them. Dan's and Andrew's are in the mail. But Bandito Frito off our Discord bought us something that I've always wanted to buy for myself, but I'm too lazy and too cheap. Got neon signs of the logo. That's so fucking cool. Doesn't look good. Bandito Frito rocks. Doesn't look good on the... Yeah. Because my lights are shining on it, so you can't get the actual greenness. But yeah, oh, that looks so cool. rad. I'm gonna yeah, put it back awesome. back there on the wall by the window, I think somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just let it hang there. So yeah, we all got Is one of these. Is it a battery one? Like you just not so it It's powered. Oh, Plug it in. that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's it's so got a rad. it's got a control too. Nice. That's fucking really. So Bandito real. Frito, I believe you're a two timer, if not maybe even a three timer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you deserve that's it. That's awesome. Thank that's you, super, man. super, super cool. You didn't have to do that. And I'm going to try and reimburse you. You said no, but I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> I'm going to do it whether you like it or I'm not. Gonna it. I'm going to cancel your membership, all right? Pay you back that way. No, I'm just kidding. That was su- super thoughtful. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. You are this week's Theorite of the Week. And before we get into the Patreon stuff, go check out our merch store because we got sweatsuits. We got all the classics back. A- OG alien head. We got El Nasty sweaters, sweatshirts. You got everything. And even though Andrew said it earlier, guess what? Pickle Baby's back um, from now until January 1st, just in time for Christmas. So get your orders in now to make sure your loved ones can be draped head to toe in ATT. And uh, but I'm the only one you get official Pickle Baby from, okay? <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. What you say? Hmm. And so you can you're, you can get quizzical looks from your relatives when you present them with the AT T shirt, and they're like, "What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you listening? Priceless, to? Jesus. priceless." <laughs> Anyways, if you're not supporting the show and you want early access, ad free, the bonus stuff, all the goodies. Yeah, fuck all could... that though. We need hair again. We need fucking <laughs> yeah. hair. All right, forget all that. That's the whole reason. Patreon.com, Alien Theorist uh, podcast. Help us get hair like these beauties that tell us about the list. <laughs> Everyone on this list has hair. That's right. AlienTheorist.com. Sure, yeah. Find the links to the merch, the Patreon, everything. We appreciate it. This week's newest supporters, James Busser, Mark Pearson, Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's. <laughs> Dave Thomas? Uh, I'm adding the E for him. Oh. Da- it's Dave Thomas. It's Ash okay. Nightingale. Whitney Boer. John, Oliver, Xeri, Callum Knight, Sean Andraka, Kyle, Wayne, T Dubs, before you pledge, Bud Stuffins. I feel like we say Bud Stuffins like every other. And he, I think he must be canceling and signing up again or something. Just to say his name. Yeah. Well, hey, get on your Bud Stuffins. Next time we're not going to say it, so we suck. Matthew Wilbur, Sarah Tate, and Alan Taylor. Thank you very much for supporting the show. We appreciate it. Woo! And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the skies. See you now, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.